So we've come to the end of our journey. And before we jump into this final section in Mark's gospel, I want to give just a few preliminary thoughts for us. Uh, one, you may have noticed already if you've studied the book of Mark, but there's, an end, there's some added endings to the book of Mark. Uh, and for our purposes, we're studying what Mark the author wrote, inspired by the Spirit. And so we're going to end at verse 8. Chapter 16, verse 8 is the end of Mark's account. Um, it, it, the earliest manuscripts don't have verse 9 and following. And actually, if you become a student of the Gospel of Mark, you may already be able to notice this. But read through verse 9 through the end of the chapter at some point, and you'll start to see it, it, it's a completely different sort of writing. Uh, it actually looks like maybe a century later, some of the Christians, unsettled by the ending of Mark, tried to just add on some summaries that they already knew from the other Gospels. Um, they, they seem to have taken stories from Luke and John and maybe even Acts and added them on to the end. And so, for instance, you see uh, the, end, the, the added endings of Mark's Gospel use words like signs, which is not really a common Mark word, but it's a very common John word. The Gospel of John loves to use this image of Jesus doing signs. Uh, and the end of Mark's Gospel adds that in. There also is a very truncated version of the Road to Emmaus story in Luke 24. And maybe there's even an allusion to uh, Paul battling a, a deadly viper in the fire in Acts 22. And so they've taken some stories that they already knew and added on and made a nice clean ending. Uh, but for our purposes, we're, we're not going to read that this time. We're going to end with what Mark actually ended with. Uh, some scholars think that maybe the, the actual ending of Mark was lost. It's possible, especially it was written in a scroll. The endings of the scroll rolled up were the most likely to be damaged or, or destroyed in some way. Uh, I personally don't think that's true. I think this is exactly how Mark ended the book. Uh, the more I, I love this gospel and the more that I dig into it and have just wrestled with it and studied it, I, I think Mark ended here for a reason. Uh, so we're going to go to chapter 16, verse 8. Before you do that, though, I want to give us a couple just prompts. We, we've been now 14 weeks through the Gospel of Mark, and we could have gone 14 more and then some. Uh, but before you dive in, before you read the text this week, just stop and pause and just kind of reflect. What were some of the major themes that came up for you over the last 14 weeks? What were some of the big questions, the big revelations that, that you realize as we were learning about who is Jesus and what does it mean to follow him and what does it mean that he is our king? Uh, what were some of the big themes? Uh, were there any unanswered questions that you still have uh, kind of lingering in your mind? Uh, so just kind of take a, take a moment, take stock of where, where we've been. And, and then think back, especially the last couple weeks, we've had... Uh, the, these intense, somber moments, the last week of Jesus' life uh, as we've been walking slowly through the Gospel of Mark. And we have the, him crying out in anguish in Gethsemane. You have Peter denying Jesus three times and then um, walking away weeping. You have the trial and the crucifixion of Jesus. Uh, and a big question I want us to ask before we even look at the text this week is what are we expecting now? We turn to the last page of Mark. What are you expecting? Maybe even write down a list. What do you think should be here on the last page of the gospel? We just finished last week with Jesus' last breath. He died on the cross. The centurion said, surely he is the Son of God. Uh, so that kind of wrapped up that part of the story. What are we expecting next? If you were finishing the story, what would be here? Uh, think back through to some of the unfinished storylines. Uh, what, what are we missing? What are we expecting? What is supposed to be here as we turn the page for this final uh, chapter in the book of Mark? So do that for a little bit and then dive in. And the way that Mark ends this story is fantastic. It draws us in and it wraps up some threads. Maybe it leaves us wondering. Uh, it leaves some unanswered questions of their own. Um, because I mean, if we've been studying Mark this long, we know he's uh, um, a genius when it comes to, to writing the story, to drawing us in. He wants to write a story that will actually impact you, that will change your life forever. Uh, this is not the sort of story that is just you, you buy for a, a dollar at a supermarket and then throw away one day. Uh, this is a story that's supposed to dig deep 
and transform you to the very core. So uh, get ready to jump in uh, to this final week. I'm really excited uh, as we, we finish up this incredible gospel.